No matter where I travel in this world, eventually the roads will bring me back to Serbian lush fields. Kids and I are on our way to Greece. But before we get there, we're going to make a quick stop to Serbia and Republic of Srpska to visit our family farm. It's beginning of June and fields are bursting with soon-to-be-ripe wheat. Many of my childhood memories are still safely kept in wheat fields like these. I especially remember this particular part of our land. I find it so interesting that after all these years living away from the place I grew up, you can come back to it and just like that, find yourself there again. Today, our family farm and our land are fortunate to be cared for by my brother's loving hands. While my father insisted that brother leaves the family farm, somehow land had a strong hold on him. Best of this soil was in his veins even before he was born. There was no way of leaving it. I'm excited to be home at this particular time of the year because the wheat is just about to get ripe and a harvest is soon to start. After spending an evening in the local fields, my brother has decided that it's time to let the fun begin. Harvest has started. My brother just started uh, harvesting wheat and the first load have just arrived. This is quite amazing. Oh, the smell and the feel of a warm wheat that was just brought from the field. As kids, we would spend hours playing in it. The best grains are brought home, and my nephew Marco is thinning the pile just to make sure that grain has a chance to dry evenly. Soon, a second load is brought in. Every grain is valuable and it's a blessing of its own. The harvest has started and this is the first week of this year. It's a late June and my brother and my nephew are starting with the harvest. This is a special time of the year when you get to bring in all your hard work home. And I'm gonna tell you, it smells good and it feels good because this just came and it's still really warm and it's full of sunshine. Regarding farming, you all know where I stand. I believe that a lot of young people should embrace this way of life. And I am extremely proud of my nephew Marco. He, despite all the opportunities that he had with his career, has decided to stay on a family farm and to continue tradition of farming. So thank you for doing that. I'm really proud of you because you're one of the rare young men who has embraced this life. And I wish more young people will follow his footsteps. Thank you for that. And now I better get, get, get busy and help you out. See you later, guys. Bye. As soon as we finished, we were off to join my brother on a field. Oh, by the way, we're just passing our family apple and pear orchard. Our cows used to spend summers here grazing on fresh grass and herbs. We are just about there and as soon as we arrive the machinery will be assembled and off we go. Running and operating large equipment like this is a very important job. Every screw and every gear needs to be in place before we start. Finally got the green light and here we go. The only and the best way to describe it is the simple joy. 
This is so hypnotizing and satisfying at the same time. I could spend hours going through fields like this. After an entire year of working the land, praying for rain and tending to the plant, the time comes to harvest your hard work. And today is a good, good day. After emptying our first load, it was a time to change the crew. All right, we're gonna crank things up and get the professional to help. Let's do this, Marco. So, you see guys, some young men play with uh, expensive cars, with uh, Porsches and, um, you know, Ferraris and stuff like that. But the real men play with the toys like this. This is what I like to see young men do. This is, this is amazing. Operating combines require skill. Working the field is also a great opportunity just to reconnect with your family. So, spending a last hour in a combine here with my nephew, we got up on so many important things. So, um, doing the important work and you also spending time just you know sharing things and just reconnecting. So. Finishing this field, machinery is once again carefully inspected, after which Marco and I will take the wheat to local silo. Upon arrival, the first step is getting the weight. Did you know that not all wheat is the same? Even same type of wheat might have different properties. This little gadget helps determine its moisture content and its starch content. Therefore, it helps determine the wheat's price. While we were delivering wheat to silo, my brother was already moved to another field. Once harvest starts, there is not a minute to waste. Weather can and often does change quickly around here. Violent summer storms and hailstorms are very common in this area. A couple more rounds and we got our second load, which this time we're not taking to the silo, but rather we're taking it to a local mill. And this hard-working pile of metal deserves a quick break. The local mill is only a few miles away from the field. This wheat will be turned into a flour and other wheat products right away. I was so curious and could not miss the opportunity to see how this was done. I'm so grateful that one of the representatives at the mill Tomich was willing to take me around and show me how wheat was grounded and what products came out of it. There were all sorts of different things coming from all sorts of different pipes. First one was just the pure wheat bran, while the other one was the actual flour. However, the process starts by separating the actual grain from all the other impurities. Naturally, the grinding of a grain will be the next step. As mentioned, there are actually quite a few different products made out of wheat, and sometimes the same product could be different. You see, this is a cream of wheat, and one is very light and one is dark. After seeds are grounded, they go through this enormous sifter. I wish I was able to see what's inside this big sifter. I'm assuming they are 
bunch of different chambers with different mashes that will separate different parts of wheat. Like here, we have the flour and other parts have the cream of wheat or sometimes they just have the parts of the wheat, the bran, the actual bran itself. It's a quite a simple and impressive concept and a very loud one. I find it so intriguing and I'm very excited that I can share this with you because like most of you who are watching this, I too have never been inside the actual mill. Oh, by the way, check this out. All these pipes lead to a different outlet with a different product. Ultimately, the main product is flour, which is measured, packaged, and sent off to stores for sale. I just love the notion that in one day, I can go and harvest my own wheat, bring it to the mill, have it all grounded and separated, and at the end of the day, I can have my own flour packaged and prepared for my home or for the sale. This was such a good day. I had so much fun working with Marco, with my brother, and with the people at the mill. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Vlada Vladik, and I'm a founder of a charitable organization called Vlada Seeds of Life, whose mission is reconnecting families and communities. I absolutely love nature and I believe in simplicity and goodness. And I also believe in giving back. If you're on the same page, we would love to hear back from you. So please send us your likes, your comments, and if you like what we do, subscribe. Thank you again for watching and I will see you again soon.